Hello and welcome to this training on using Time Zest inside of an auto test service ticket. Here you can see we have a new ticket. Our contact is Erica Forrest. In the right hand side, we have the Time Zest Insight pod. It is very simple to send your client an invitation using Time Zest. You just select the resource that's going to hold the session, what type of appointment it is, and push schedule appointment. There is additional optionality available to you by selecting show additional options. If you select this first feature, you can see that it'll allow you to schedule an appointment after a specified date. In this case, we could put the 15th. That would allow the client only to see appointments available after the 15th. If you want to do a date range, you can put in the 15th through the 20th here. By using the time functions, you can schedule after hours appointments by putting between 6 and 10 p.m. It will override your business hours. You also have the option to use a different appointment duration. So our standard phone call that is set up is 30 minutes, but I know that this meeting might take me 90 minutes. You can just put in here 90 minutes and it will update all the information provided to the client. You also have the option to schedule the appointment with a different contact than who is the primary contact on the ticket. So if Erica has emailed in and said, please schedule this session with Mary, you can then search for Mary and send the invitation to her instead. Let's send an invitation using just the simple functionality of who the resource is and the appointment type, push schedule. When we refresh our ticket, we can see that our status is updated to times as schedule sent. This will be determined upon what settings your administrator has put together. You can also see that inside our internal notes, it says that an invitation has been sent to Erica to ask her to select a time, and there's also an audit trail within the Times as pod over here. Let's take a look at what this looks like inside of Erica's inbox. We're now inside Erica's inbox, and we can see she's received the invitation. By selecting Choose a Time, she then can select a time on the technician, who is Pamela's calendar. She can choose a date that works for her and a time. We also have the option to ask the client to provide the best phone number that works for them. We have the functionality available to allow the client to be able to reschedule or cancel an appointment as needed. You can see that functionality here. Let's go back to our ticket. We've refreshed our ticket and you can see the status is updated that it is a time zest scheduled appointment. The internal notes have also been updated, annotating the time and day, as well as the phone number that Erica provided. When we review the time zest pod over here, we can see that it has been scheduled. That is how simple it is to send an invitation to your client to schedule a Times S meeting. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to help at timess.com.